How's it going guys? I'm your host Karban Gaming. Welcome back to another Adventure Quest video and finally this I have been waiting for a very very long time. So now let us finally go ahead and take a look at the new Golden Gift Fox items. Now there are still 4 items that are not released yet but I really don't want to wait anymore so we are just going to go through that right now. Okay so let's go through it one by one. Common boxes what do we have here? <coughs> uh, what's new? Shadow Phoenix Bow. This bow from nope. This bow from the realm of Adventure Quest Wars unleashes arrows imbued with darkness aligned flames. Okay, so I think this is pretty ordinary, not worth getting. Vorpal Sword. Special attack is known for being tremendously accurate. Nothing special about that either. So yeah, common shop as you guys will expect. Nothing really worth getting. Maybe the General of Cerberus Helm. Yeah, I think I'll probably get this. Why not? Okay, nice. And now let's move on to the rare shop. And I'll try to go through all of the items one by one and what they do. Alright, let's see. What's new here? Bone Breaker Berserker X. Is that new? Wait, let me check the subs right here. Hmm. Okay, I don't think that's new. Uh... Yeah, they are either okay ultra elemental x this can sort elements uh, between fire and ice nothing special it can also sort between mini range and magic uh, not that great it's a good compression weapon but not worth it in my opinion there are better compression weapons out there regal dragon blade okay so it will deal extra 15 percent damage to all monsters but against monsters that are water dragons there'll be a cost that runs in your blood so what this means is that if you're hitting a water dragon you are basically getting a free 15% damage boost against anything else you will have to pay a HP cost similar to the uh, blood blade they've also updated the blood blades both the uh, blood zucker blades and the normal uh, blood mage blood blades so they now cost a bit more HP but I think they give a little bit more boost as well so that's really nice this one uh, I believe you pay the same cost as the blood blades and it deals it gives a slightly lesser boost than the blood blades for uh, in terms of damage but that being said it is uh, free is free 15% damage if you're hitting a water dragon anything other, other than a water dragon you're going to pay a HP cost for me I don't think I'll be getting this because one my no drop which is my blade of all is aligned to energy and two um, I believe they will come out with an energy blood blade really soon so I don't really think this is worth getting because once the energy blood blade comes out this will become obsolete but before the energy blood blade comes out this is the best energy weapon inside of the game so if you guys don't have a good if you guys don't have your no drop set to energy and if you're looking for a good energy weapon and you don't want to wait for an energy version of blood blade to come out then you can get the regal dragon blade but for me, I will not be getting that. Next. <coughs> Armors, nothing new here. Shield. Cerberus Shield. Um, it will provide great water resistance and re replenish your SP when fighting a burning foe. So basically, I think this one restores your SP each time you hit a foe that is under the burning effect or something like that. So I don't think that's worth getting either. Epoch Slice. So this one is obviously based from Dragon Fable, the Epoch class. This spell from the realm from of Dragon Favor unleashes powerful energy blasts that can render your foe more vulnerable to damage. It's also overcharged, taking more mana than normal cast, but also dealing more damage. I think this has potential on paper, but when you look at the numbers, it's really not that great. So I'm going to pass out on that as well. We have Rift Walker, which is also based on Dragon Fable, and this one it can stun your foe or it can use her rift to help deflect fire attacks. Now, I don't think there's a lot of testing with uh, this pet yet. Personally, I am not a fan of it, but I can see it being useful for Effect Beastmaster. So if you are an Effect Beastmaster, then you should get the Rift Walker pet. If not, I think there are uh, better options out there. I don't think it's worth spending a rare gift box on. So I'm going to pass that up. Next up, Ultra Rare. Right, now this is where all the juicy stuff comes in. Alright, so weapons. Let's look at the weapons. Uh, 
I apologize if I skip through any that are new they are probably not worth talking about if I skip through them whether it's by accident or what okay X of Cerberus okay this one unleash underworld flames on your foe doing water damage and doing a water burn so this one I think you can pass this up as well it's your standard burn weapon nothing too special and then you have striker general of Cerberus this one you can call for Cerberus to deal water damage underworld flames and potentially burn your foes and then Defender General of Cerberus also believe is this the same thing? What? High damage. Okay. Great water damage I can call for. Okay, I think one is fully offensive, which is the striker, and then I think the defender is fully defensive. If I am not wrong, I may be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But I think uh you can pass this up as well. It's not really that fantastic. I mean, the artwork is pretty nice, but the effect is, I would say, it's pretty standard. You can definitely pass it up. Next one, we have uh, the Shadow Side Floater. So this one, uh, the first turn, the gas will do three times the normal damage at no extra cost, at three times the SP cost or MP cost but afterwards it doesn't do anything for two turns and it also doesn't cost anything for two turns so basically there's no real boost here it's just a burst gas so if you want to finish off the fight fast then the gas will just burst damage in three in the first turn and then the other two turns you won't do anything so this can be useful if you're just using but uh, if you have if you want to carry more than uh, a gas which has uh, the same element if you want to carry more than one gas with the same element yep so this can be useful if you want to carry two fire gas okay two spells for two different fire gas you can call this one on the first turn for him to burst the damage and then since the other two turns he's not going to do anything you can switch it to another fire gas that being said the cooldown does not reset you need to have three turns with this gas equipped in order for the cooldown to end so you can't just call another gas and then uh, summon this one back to uh, take away the cooldown it doesn't work that way so yeah there's no real boost to this one and I don't think it's worth getting either next one Paladin Chili this one you can deal greater damage on dead foes and can focus on damage or build a tiny bit of ice magic into a light spell to stun your foes leaving them paralyzed again it's a standard stun pet which does more damage to undead can be good in certain situations but uh, not a fan not a big fan Prime Chaos Orb. This is the best item to come out of this update by far, and it is super duper powerful. It is a must get. So you can click on this item to KO up your foe, permanently scrambling its resistances and giving a lean. So the monster can resist with a save at a minus 20 penalty inflicted with charisma or luck and resisted with charisma and luck. These are permanent changes that last for the duration of the battle. Unequipping the miscellaneous item won't remove them. So you, the first time you click, you get a, the monster gets a 1.1 lean. Second time you click, monster gets a 1.2 lean, and so on and so forth. You can activate it multiple times per turn, but every time after the first, you lose access to one menu category. So the first click is basically free, no cost for the first click. That is really really good. Okay, so after the first click you lose access to one menu category this is something new that we have not seen inside the game before at least not for an item so you lose normal attacks you can lose your spells plus your class skills your potion plus your miscellaneous items weapons shields or armors or pets and guests for one turn multiple applications of the lean stack additively so first 1.1 then 1.2 then 1.3 so on and so forth also the miscellaneous passively boosts your charisma by a, quite a lot and luck by a little bit this part is 0 0.9 effect and 1.1 cost due to the miscellaneous being non elemental. So, on top of that, uh, yeah, I already mentioned the scrambling the enemy resistances part. So, this is a definite must get. I don't think I have an ultra rare box. Yep, I don't have. One thing I forgot to mention in the rare box is uh, this spell here. No, not Grimlord. Uh, Dread Fiend. Dread Fiend of Nalgath. This one. Use your spirit to call forth a terrible demon from the war of Oversoul. You can cast attack for heavy darkness damage or use void reflection for a backlash effect. The damage is not the main selling point here. The selling point here is the backlash effect. The backlash is crazy. It's like 85% of the damage that you receive, it will be dealt back 
to the monster. So if the monster does 100 damage to you, the monster is going to have to eat 85 backlash damage. That is absolutely crazy. The gas sacrifices all of its damage, but come on, 85% of the monster's damage. Can you imagine those huge bosses doing huge tons of damage to you? They'll be eating so much backlash. This is an absolute, absolute must get as well. So I think I will uh, get the core version and not the summon version because I want to use my mana for nuking. So let's get the core Dread Fiend of Nalgath and my spell inventory is full. Well, what do you know? Okay, let's uh, put something inside the uh, bank shell, inside the shed vault, shall we? See, the uh, shed vault is full. Okay, so we have to, we are going to have to buy some slots here. One six zero eight. Yup. Let's just buy uh, two spell slots. Okay, extra slots. And I like that they've actually increased the number of inventory slots uh, to 79 slots total instead of 50. So, wait. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, you can buy a maximum of, I think it's 80 or 100 extra slots now. I can't remember. But yeah, we're going to have to buy two spell slots. So, let's buy one. Two because I already overcapped the spell slot by one. I forgot how I did that. Okay, so let's buy another one. Okay, nice. And we still have 1,408 tokens. Okay, let's buy the core Dread Fiend of Nalgath. Even though this build isn't a Beastmaster build, but uh, this pet can come in very useful, even for non-Beastmasters against high damage monsters like Mr. Frost Realverse. I think somebody already posted a video uh, showcasing how this pet worked. Uh, the backlash damage was absolutely crazy, so... Definitely must get, and the second thing that you need to get is obviously the Ultra Rare. So now, he has 7 more Golden Gift Boxes to have a chance to roll for the Ultra Rare Box. Let's see if we get it. Come on. Please, please, please. Uh, come on, Ultra Rare, please. Rares. Nope. But it's okay, it's a good sign because for 10 Rares, we can trade for 1 Ultra Rare. So, uh, still a step in the right direction, I guess, please. No, another Rare. Okay, fine, at least we are getting rares, so we can trade them, if we have enough, hopefully we have enough. We can trade 25 commons for 1 rare, and uh, 10 rares for 1 ultra rare, so... Okay, we got a common right there, that's not a good sign. If they can just give me 1 ultra rare, man, I'll be so happy, please. Uh, no ultra rare, at least give me another rare. Give me something to work with here. Please. Common, oh no, this is not good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, oh no, last box guys, last box, please. Please. Dang, another common. Okay, I don't know if I want to buy more Z tokens <laughs> at this point. Let me go and check out my uh, account manager first and I'll be back. Hopefully I have enough to convert. Okay, so hang tight, I'll be back shortly. Man oh man, I am missing two freaking rare boxes <laughs> to trade for an ultra rare. So right now I've traded all of my common boxes. I have like three left or something like that. And I have eight rares and zero ultra rare. So if I get two more rares, I can trade for an ultra rare and get the prime chaos Now, 1,400 tokens. Of course, it is way better to buy 10 for 2,000 tokens. But I don't want to spend any more money, so... I can realistically do, um, wow, I can't even do 5, no, I can't even do 6, I have to do, I only have like 5 tries, yep, you know what, let us try and gamble for this, this, this is a stupid move guys, please don't do this, uh, it's always better to buy in groups of 10, I'm just impatient and I really want it without spending more money, so, please, Please come on, AQ, please. Or oh, just give me an ultra rest straight up. Oh my gosh, I'll be so happy, please. Come on, dude. I make videos for your games. You have to give me good luck so people will be tempted to spend money on your game once they see that I'm getting the item. <laughs> please. Oh gosh, another common. Wow, this is not looking good. Yeah, this is probably a very bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get it. Yep. No chance. Uh, yeah, let's just try one last one. Why the heck not? Uh, 
Ah, <sighs> common box. Well, such is my luck. Okay, I'm going to contemplate a while first because I really, really want the Prime Chaos Orb. It is so freaking strong. Oh, man, I regret spending those 1,400 tokens. I should have bought a bit more to, you know, to just buy the freaking 10 boxes at one shot. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I need to rethink my life decision. Sometimes I just hate myself and I totally shouldn't have, but I did it anyways. 6,000 Z tokens guys, alright, so I got the uh, the Sacred Chicken uh, package because I don't have that pet yet and I believe it's a very very strong win pet so I do have Fenrir right now so I won't replace Fenrir I think but I think this is a very good pet for Beastmasters if you don't have another win pet so you can get pick up that package as well so we have 30 tries definitely we can get it within 30 tries hopefully we don't need that many tries let us see what we get okay rest all right one more rare or just give me an ultra rare straight up nope i just need one more rare box before i can convert to an ultra rare please Please, 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 common, nope. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? So you guys can see how good this equipment is. And if you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel, share it to your friends. Okay, we got a rare. Nice. Um, you know what, let's open up the other five gift boxes. Let's see what we get here. Alright. Another rare, okay, wow, you could, have, you could have given me that sooner, right? Before I bought 6,000 tokens. I swear this is freaking rigged. Okay, anyway, guys, so as I was saying, if you guys like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to my channel, share my channel to all of your friends, and of course, watch more of my videos. It uh, really gives me the motivation to make more of such videos for you guys, and it doesn't feel so pain when I'm spending money on this game, you know, even though I've sunk a lot of money into this game already, so yeah. <laughs> okay right no ultra rare luck but whatever i'm happy with that rest okay so we'll be back in a bit after we exchange the gift boxes in account manager finally guys we got one freaking ultra rare right so let's go and buy the prime chaos orb right now boy oh boy i can't wait all right prime chaos orb yes please nice all right nice Time to bring this up and replace some item which we don't need. Let's see what it, what shall we replace here? Um Oh man. I don't know what I want to replace. I think I'll replace Head of Radius Dragon. Oh man, that's been in my Frost Gills Remorse or we want Ilahi Earth of Osiris let's put this in first still thinking what I want for my last item don't know if I want this or Hail of Radius Dragon or something else altogether right finally we got the Chaos Orb yes alright so let's show that off Let's see how this thing works. Alright, uh, Prime Chaos Orb. Alright, so the first one, it doesn't, uh, okay, uh, it scrambles the resistances, but since Combat tra Practice Trainer is 100% all resistances, you obviously can't see the difference. Uh, so I've already corrupted the foe, I do not see any pop ups or anything like that, but the first click is free, like I said. And let's see how many clicks we can do. Lose access to your normal attacks for one turn. Okay. Lose access to pets for one turn. Lose access to potions and miscellaneous items for one turn. You can't call upon the ops power while miscellaneous items are disabled. What? Okay, so I can still cast spells. Let's do Arctic Tornado. Well, even without a boost, it's... Without the Blood Mage boost, it's dealing a lot of damage. Nice.
okay so we can only call as long as miscellaneous items are disabled you can't call upon the all so if you get lucky with that if you get unlucky with uh, that and hit the miscellaneous item one then yeah you will be pretty much screwed but oh boy wow Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, damn. Okay, let's do destruction burst. Let's see. Are you seeing this, guys? This is without a blood mage boost, without the intellect boost, without all these celerity and whatnot. This is crazy. And each turn, it freaking resets. It freaking resets, guys. What the heck? You get the first click free every single turn. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to skip turn because I can't do anything. But what the heck? 23. I'm doing like what? 230% more damage, I guess. Are you seeing this, guys? This, this is a crazy miscellaneous item. Absolutely insane, 26. Man, how far can we go? Oh my lord, this is this item is insane, dude. 30. 300% damage, guys. Let's try using it with some boost, okay? Um What boost we need? Don't need the celerity stuff. Let's do blood contract. It stacks with blood contract by the way. This is insane. Celtic view. No, not blood circle. Let's do blood mage. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it, right? You can call. You can do the other polar as well. Are you ready, guys? Oh wait, I I can do arcane amplification as well. Uh, let's do purple rain first. We don't need the dexterity. I guess I didn't need to purple rain either. Okay. Whatever. Guys, are you ready for the freaking damage that you're about to see? Eight freaking thousand, guys. Eight thousand damage. Holy crap. Hundred percent resistance. Eight thousand damage. That is one hit. If the second hit did another 8,000, that's 16,000 damage. Okay, granted, you need some time to build up the corruption, but holy crap, this is insane. This is. Oh man, I am in love with this item. Now, do you see why I am so intent on spending money for this item? This is the amount of madness that this item can provide. Guys, you need to get this item. It is freaking broken. It is a must get. I don't know how else to put it. But you definitely need it. It sinks with your gauntlet. It sinks with your love potion, your celerity items, whatever nuking. Nuking just got even more broken than what it already is. I don't know how else to put it. But let us go through Snuggle Fest right now. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This, is there anything that we can't nuke down? Oh my gosh. Uh, wait. What? What's what's this year's? Wait, sorry, what's this year's event again? Okay, hold on. Okay, so I waited and waited and waited, and I think the staff is working really hard on it. So don't give them a hard time. Um. Unfortunately, the uh, Snuggle Fest, the quest this year, I don't know if there is any quest intended this year, but all we have is items, and basically what you have to do is just go here, and then uh, you just click on each and every single one of their portraits, and then you just go and fight some really, really basic monsters uh, that can be killed rather easily, and then you will get access to a shop with some new items. Okay, there is a Happy Cloud Pet, which is your standard uh Mastercraft pet that allows you to switch between a stun mode and a damage mode and then uh, the weapon I don't think is really worth now they only have one really good item that I think is worth getting that is the armor the Yandir Snuggle Bear armor so it's a fully offensive fire armor 
with a magic focus <coughs> uh, primary obviously is fire then you have your secondary is dark tertiary energy earth then uh, wind water for your fourth resistance and you'll be weak to light and ice so mastercraft is effect is that if the enemy has any status effects on them that can make them skip skip their turn such as paralyze days freeze control whatnot then your weapon attacks and spells deal extra 7.5% damage magic weapons get a 0.75 multiplier to this and spells get a half multiplier so this is very good and further solidifies the nuking meta the stun nuke meta it's just crazy um unfortunately like i said just now it's tokens only so it's not for gold and that is a great shame or not it will be a really good item to add to your inventory however that being said most people when they are nuking they usually stay in the uh, blood mage armor or if they are warriors they'll stay in the blood zerker armor so i'm not sure how much use this has if it gives a bigger boost than the blood mage or the blood zerker armor itself uh we'll need somebody to go and crunch the numbers but for now on paper this is really a good armor especially if you don't have access to blood mage or blood zerker and you will straight up get this as soon as you pay the tokens for it. you don't need to gamble with your z tokens for the uh ultra rare gift boxes to get the blood mage or blood zerker armor so that is the only thing worth getting in the shop that being said uh they are still missing a few items on the uh Golden Gift Fox release, they have added one more since yesterday, and that is the Infernal Legion Minion. So it's a spell you can call, it's a summon or call spell. So it deals either standard, you can switch it between dealing normal damage or uh, inflicting a water burn on your foe. So nothing that special, it's just another standard toggle pet. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corbyn Gaming. Peace out.